Okay, guys, now let's continue. Now let's add some more interaction. I mean, like more action to our zombie when he gets damaged. Okay, so uh, first of all, I want to set some animation here for my zombie. Uh, what I want is I downloaded this from Mixamo. So it's like a, you see, like, like it's a reaction here. But I don't want my animation to start like from, from the beginning because we have still like an idle animation here. So I want this should be fine. So you see this timeline? If I drag, drag this like to here, so now my animation will start from here or always. You see? You see? Okay, this is what we want. And make sure you did the humanoid. And also after you change this, click apply, all right? So this isn't gonna be so cool, check it out. I'm going to take it out, drag out. Okay, now we have our animation. Now I will create a state, call this reaction and drag and drop this reaction hit here, okay. I will add also a bool here, I will call this reaction, okay. And as you can imagine, we are going to make a back and forth transition here like we did before. I'm going to take this out, add a bool, make it true, if it's true go to reaction, if it's false Take it out and go back to zombie idle. All right, so this is cool. We'll click our zombie. And now what we will do is uh, we will add a, how can I say, set animator bool in right in here. Okay, set animator bool. And as you can imagine, we will drag and drop our zombie, the model below my zombie controller let's say and the trigger will be copy this here okay so oh sorry guys this will be yeah set animator bool <clears throat> that's my bad sometimes when you drag and drop things change so always make sure double click and i will drag it here and i will command v the reaction and i will make this true okay then I also will add a like a weight command here, like a 0 0.1. So come on, 0 0.1 and finish and bring it below. Okay. So and where is this? I will copy this. When we come back to idle, it should uh, not play, but go back to idle, okay? So let's see what's going on here, if this is going to work, you know. Uh, he's coming to me, and I shoot, you see, he's like, Ugh! you know, you can add sound effects in here, when he is like this, okay? Okay, so he's coming back to me. All right, cool. That's cool, guys. And where is this damaging the enemy? Okay. And uh, set animator wood is cool. I think we can like copy this explosion force and test if it's going to work better also here. Sorry. Uh, in here, you know, let's check it out. So we have more like a back going action. Yeah, this is this is like much better. Okay. Okay, so you can leave that here as well. Okay. Now one more effect I really like in if it, because imagine this is like an arcade game. Don't try to think it more realistic. And I will create another like a strop effect on my zombie. And I will make it like really easy. I will add a point light here. And I will bring it right next to my zombie. All right. So where he is at. And I will make this six. And I will make the range like four. Okay. So it is right where he is at. So it doesn't light everywhere. And I will make the coloring a little bit yellowish. You know, so it's close to our bullet color. Okay. And I will bring right under my zombie model, my zombie control, 
controller, okay? So, guys. And now what we do, of course, what we do is we activate our game object here. And I will say specify, I will point this. Now this is activated and when we go back here, deactivate it. And now when we press play, and when we press play, now check this out. This is like a subtle light effect, you see? You see that the light is going on, okay? I think we can make it uh, more dramatic. I think it's not enough. Uh, if I take this, by the way, I need to turn this off. And so maybe I need to make this like 10, okay? So make the range seven or six, okay? Let's deactivate this and let's check it out again. Yeah, this is like much better. Okay. Okay, that's cool. That's cool, guys. All right. So that's cool. You know, we are adding some more things to our game. In the next class, we'll see how we can like make this zombie die. All right. Okay, see you next class. Bye.